Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. This is for absolute beginners. You just need to have a development board and also some components that is needed for that lecture. And you need to have a PC or Mac to start learning Arduino. LED has two pins, anode and cathode. The cathode has this line, will be identified by this line, and this is the anode. The arrow always points toward cathode. In some diagrams, you will see this double arrow, and some of them, they just put LED, but this is the LED, it's connected to positive, and cathode is connected to the negative. What it means is that the two pin will have around two volts difference of potential or they will have two volts in order to turn this on. Actual physical LED that the longer pin is the anode and the shorter pin is the cathode. So you will connect always the positive to this long pin. It can be either small, this is five millimeter and this is a two millimeter. In two millimeter also the long one is the positive. This is the anode and the other one is the cathode. You can get different colors, something like yellow, blue, uh, clear color, which is just uh, uh, bright white, and many other colors. What is a resistor? This page is from Wikipedia. And res a resistor is a passive two-terminal component uh, that resists against the current. This is a two terminal and it has usually four and sometimes five straps of color. It's shown with these two symbols. One is uh, the European and this is the American sum symbols that is displayed. From this website electronicshub.org there's a very good image of uh, resistor sizes for example. For example, this is one eight watt, this is uh, quarter watt, this is half watt, and as you can see, five watts. And there are larger sizes of resistors. As the power of the resistor increases, the size also increases. And here there is, uh, quickly, this is a battery, and this is a symbol for the resistor. The current goes, the current is represented by I. The voltage of the battery is represented by V and the resistance of resistor is represented by R. The resistance that the resistor shows, the unit is ohm. And this is the path of current that goes, and this is bottom also, there is a wire. And I, or the current, is equal to V divided by R. So you can find I using this, for example, if this is uh, 10 volts and this is 2 ohm, 10 divided by 2, 5. There must be 5 ampere current passed through this resistor. Let me explain the color on the resistor. You will get these colors starting from black. It goes up to white. And the f each color has a value associated with it. Black is 0, brown is 1, red uh, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, and white from 0 to 9. And this applies for all the three band and for the fourth band as well. So for example, this one, the three band brown, black, orange. This brown, if you come here and you see brown is 1, so you will write 1. And black is 0, you put a 0. Orange here is 3, you put 3 zeros or 10 to the power 3 so you that is 10,000 or 10 kilo ohm 10,000 ohm or 10 kilo ohm the last band usually you will get it either as gold or silver but these two colors also are possible uh, and if these two colors are here then there will be some extra space so you know this color is not starting from that side so the three color will be together and there will be some space so you will start from this one but if there is no space and this is silver or gold you automatically know that you have to read it from this side 
and this is the tolerance either 5% or 10%. This means plus minus 5% in each 100 ohms it goes 5 up or 5 down. So in total this is 5% up or 5% down. And I will provide you the chart link in case if you want to proceed with other values. And for uh, 1 mega ohm we will have we need 6 zeros so 1 0 and this should be 5 zeros. You will see this is green so it, this will be green five zeros and then one zero here six it will be one mega ohm as i mentioned the led needs around two volts of course it, the, mm, the voltage of each led will be different and we have to look at the manufacturer's specification sheet or data sheet but in general the leds that we are using will have around 2 or 2.2 .2 volts on both sides. When you connect this to 5 volts of Arduino or you power this up through Arduino, you have to put a resistor here to make a voltage divider so some portion of the voltage is dropped across this resistor and the remainder, which is around 2 volts, will appear for this uh, LED. So we put a resistor, in our case, we put a resistor of around 5, 330 ohm to 1 kilo ohm. The larger this resistor, the dimmer this diode. So if you put it very, uh, if you put a high value resistor here, uh, you might reach to a point that this will not even turn on or you will not be able to see it. A resistor can be arranged the other way as well, but if you pay attention, doesn't matter, this is anode, anode is connected to positive and the cathode is connected th through this resistor to the negative. So in both case, anode is connected to positive and cathode is connected to negative and this arrangement does not matter where you put the resistor. When you connect this to Arduino or power this up through Arduino of 5 volts, 3 volts will drop here and 2 volts will uh, appear across the LED and will turn this on for us. And the amount of current that each LED draws is around 10 milliampere. And depending on the type of uh, LED, it varies, but generally for the 5 millimeter, 10 milliampere is the average. Here is how we calculate the resistor. For example, if you connect 5 volts, in this case Arduino or a battery, uh, to an LED, and let's say we found this information from the manufacturer and by the way these are the most common uh, values the voltage of the led is let's say two volts and the current that it needs to have enough light is 10 milliampere or 0 0.01 ampere now because this is five volts and we have the voltage across led two volts then five minus two three volts must be across this resistor divided across this resistor so if this is 3 volts, then R will be calculated by the Ohm's law, V divided by I. V is the voltage, I is the current. So V is 3 volts, I is 0 0.01, and we will get 300 Ohm resistor. If you go below this, then the voltage across this will be smaller, and the higher voltage will be here, and as a result, we will have higher current, and this will damage the... Uh, LED but if you set this uh, larger resistor there will be larger voltage drop and smaller voltage for this instead of 2 it will be let's say 1.9 1.8 or even uh, less and less and, and that will cause the brightness of this to be decreased and if you go very high let's say 3 or 5 kilo ohms slowly you will see that uh, you will not be able to see it it will be very dim uh, for that reason, never go below this and something up, up to 1 kilo ohm will work fine and it's visible. This board is called breadboard and internally these lines at the bottom they are connected using metal and both sides of these holes. So from here to here each line is one piece. If you connect a wire here or here or here in any of these pens, it doesn't matter this way. But if you connect something here and something here, these are two different things, two different connections. So this is one wire from here to here, any point you connect. And also on this side, we have 
separate uh, holes. This has been labeled in some sketches. People refer to, let's say, B2, they say connected to B2 or something. I think our circuits will not be that complicated. I will not mention that. On this side, this portion is all connected. So you can connect, let's say, your ground or negative at this point, and you can connect your positive at this point. Same way on this side. And then you put all other components here, and we will connect them and power them. Let's uh, start turning this LED on using the power of five volts without Arduino, and then we will turn this on with Arduino and make it blink. I will employ this type from positive. I will bring a resistor. I will be connecting the positive to this line. Okay, so I will bend this. And insert it in any of these pin doesn't matter because I will connect somewhere and the five volts. Now this has been inserted on one side. The other side, let's just connect it to a pen here. Now I have connected it like this. And as I mentioned for LED, this is the anode, the long one, the cathode is the short one. This will go to the negative. This goes to the positive. Now the positive comes here to the resistor and comes down. As you can see here, the positive goes through a resistor and then comes to the anode of the LED. An anode is this long one. I will now connect the LED and to this pin with the long one towards the resistor and insert it. Now if you pay attention here, as you can see here, this is a positive. It goes up to this point and then the anode of LED is connected. Now this pin of LED is this supposed to go to the negative. I can use that negative on that side, that would be fine. Now from the cathode, I put a wire to negative. This is my negative here. I'm gonna connect it at this point and connect it in here. As I mentioned, I will use all of this as negative, this blue section. So I'm gonna bend this uh, so you can see it. Now, as I mentioned the pen before, this pen is five volts. The third pin from here, it has labeled as five volts. And then we have ground. Ground is the negative or ground. And also I have another ground here. I can use that or this one. And by convention, I try to use red or uh, brighter color with comparing to the blue as a positive and then blue, brown or whatever darker color, I would use it for ground. So this will be connected to five volts and then will be connected to ground. Now this is my multimeter and these are the two wires for the multimeter. Let me connect it to the negative and to positive. The multimeter is now on. Let me connect this. As you can see, we are reading five volts from the Arduino from this pen. Now I'm using this just as a power supply. Now let's connect the five volts, the positive to one of these lines that I mentioned, and the negative to one of this. And here the LED is now turned on. Five volt is coming through this wire. It goes through this resistor and here. The voltage is reduced or divided portion on here and then the remainder comes through this anode and enters and from cathode the current goes back to the negative and complete and from here it comes from anode enters and from cathode it completes so as if you connect this to a power supply directly to your usb or whatever power supply that you have When you open uh, your Arduino, you will see void setup. And this is the opening and this is the closing. Everything comes here will run once. And these two forward slashes mean 
whatever comes after that is a comment this is not part of the code I can just type anything I want uh, it will be just for information purpose but whatever comes between this opening and this closing will be executed once and then void loop this is a method or a function of loop whatever you put in here in between this and this curly parenthesis will be run forever unless you make some kind of condition to exit or stop it to do the blink let's open a blink sketch that's already with your Arduino IDE click on file examples go to basic and click blink in Arduino code every time you see forward slash with star this means multi-line comment it starts from here and ends here with star and forward slash whatever comes in between is called comment and there could be note information copyright and any related other information so this is not part of the code but some information for us to read after that if you see double forward slash this is called single line comment whatever you type after these two forward slashes this will be ignored and this is also comment it's just for us now let's open the blink click on file examples basic blink this is now comment this is the end and that's the beginning this is called multi-line comment it starts with forward slash and a star when this is this means the beginning of multi-line comments so these are all comments as you can see they put address data date text whatever credit they want and then star and uh, forward slash that is the ending this is the uh, a comment and then inside the setup and we have this code this is actual code but this is just common for us in order to use this digital pens you will have to define them either as an input or output in this code here and we do that using pen mode when you type pen mode it opens with this parenthesis and ends in here and there is one comma so it has two parameter one here and one here the first one is the pen that you're using and the second one is the type this says LED built in and it says output this can be a pen like let's say pen 2 and then so this means pen mode pen 2 output now this runs only once when the code runs and it defines a pen as an output a pen 2 as an output then we are going inside the loop let me change this I will explain that next here we say digital write to high this means set pen 2 high in Arduino high means 5 volts and low means 0 which means this pen which is labeled as pen 2 will have 5 volts when the code reaches to this point it starts from the top it executes this one first and then this and so forth and when it reaches the end this is the end of the loop it comes back and executes this one so this is being executed in order the first one it says digital write 2 high it means set pen 2 as high so now we will have 5 volts at the output but until when here we define it delay 1000 this 1000 mean 1000 millisecond and which is one second each second is 1000 millisecond it waits for this amount of time you can change it to 5000 2000 3000 or maybe even 500 millisecond whatever you wish so you can change that and after this amount of time waiting the pen is high then we say digital write to low low mean turn off or low mean send zero volt explained earlier when you have five volts this LED will turn on 
because this side is connected but if you set here zero and this side is zero there is no voltage so zero and zero this will be turned off and then we wait ag again in turn off mode we wait for thousand milliseconds or one second and the uh, end of the loop here and it goes back and turns it on wait for one second turns it off wait for one second and the loop continues like that some people pronounce it as lead that's incorrect this is led or led let's connect it to pin 2 i'm keeping the ground pin as is i'm gonna connect this to pin 2 now the led is off now let's go to tools port make sure this is selected our port is com port now the right port is selected and click this to upload to the board once you do that the sketch will be compiled for machine language and then once the transmission is started you will see this two lights will blink program will start running you see started it now the led runs one second on on one second off If I disconnect any of these wires, let's say on this side the negative, if I disconnect it, it will be off. Now connect it back or the positive from the other side or from pin 2. It will not work. If I connect it to pin 3 or 4, it will not work because the other pins are not active. They don't do anything now only pin 2 is active now you can play with this and change it for example if you make this 500 millisecond and then every change you make you have to upload it back to the board by clicking here now it will be on for shorter period and for longer period it will be off the low is the off let's make it five uh, thousand milliseconds or five seconds and uploading it again and just make sure to watch for the blink you see the code is transferred now five seconds it's off and half a second it will be on now let's say you want to change the order it doesn't make any difference but i'm going to do it for you so the positive comes directly to anode and then the resistor will be on the other side the positive comes directly to the anode so I'm removing this and the resistor anode is anode is here I'm gonna put it to the positive and uh, connecting it like this now it's connected now I'm gonna move this further away so I can put the resistor here between these two points this is the cathode and this goes to the negative the two pin of the resistors resistor is here now the code is running it's five seconds let me just change it <coughs> upload i just did the undo Control z now it's one second now it's 100 millisecond off 100 millisecond on it will be very hard to find the track of it but now this is 100 millisecond let me explain the blink that i have skipped from the beginning led underscore blink is an internal constant that is defined by arduino ide and 
this is referred to the pin 13 and so this is as if you type 13 that's one thing the second thing is that the pin 13 is internally connected to this LED right now if I upload this code now it is set for 200 milliseconds on and 4 seconds off now you will see that it will be very short on and 4 seconds off so this is internally connected if I connect my, or my um, LED that is outside on the breadboard now I'm connecting it you will see that it will blink exactly at the same time with this one Let's, let's make it 3 seconds off, on, and 300 milliseconds off. Now the code is uploaded. Now you will see that it will be longer on and shorter off. So this is a very good tool. Uh, because if you want to test your code and want to see that the code is being uploaded, just disconnect everything and load the blank and see how this behaves or change it or program it. For more videos, please click on subscribe button or click on the icon on the right side of the screen. Thank you. Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.